Hey, and welcome back to another Revit Tools video. In this video, we'll be covering the mirror tools. There's a mirror tool called Pick Axis and a mirror tool called Draw Axis. Both do ultimately the same thing, but work slightly differently. So let's get right into it. So I've got a, a basic floor plan with some walls and doors laid out here. And let's say we want to mirror this wall here. And so I'll, if you first select the mirror pick axis tool, you're prompted with wanting to select an element. So I'll, I'll select that element, that wall, I'll hit enter. And now it's asking me to choose an axis with which to mirror this object. So I'll, the, I have different options to choose from and it's mainly the walls here. I don't have anything else other than walls that I can use besides some walls or some reference planes within the doors that I can use to mirror this wall. So the basic idea is of the mirror tool is that you have an element and you choose a point with which you would like to mirror and then it acts just like a mirror. You're going to get a reflection of that element that you've chosen to mirror along that axis or line, whatever it may be, we'll get into it depending on the tool. So I'm at the point now where I need to choose, choose an axis with which to mirror this door or mirror this wall. And so I have the option to choose all these walls. I'll choose this wall here and we can see the result is that the wall I had chosen is now mirrored to the other side of that wall. And because the door is hosted to that wall, the door went along with it. Maybe we wanted that, maybe not, but for tutorial's sake, that works just fine. So now, just like lots of other tools, be it the move tool, the copy tool, I'd like to select the element first. It's just easier. I can select the element that I want to mirror first, then select the mirror axis tool, and then choose my axis. And I'll choose this one here. And we can see that it was mirrored with this wall being the center point. I'll delete that and I'll delete this wall. Now I'll choose that wall again and I'll go to the draw axis. And so now not only am I prompted with a place to choose the the point that I'm reflecting, but now I actually get to I have more control over it. So I in a way get to define that myself. So yeah, I could come down here and I could choose this this wall like I had before or I could choose this wall like I had before but now I have the option to draw a specific line anywhere so maybe I want to draw that line here you can see the result is that that the wall that I had selected to mirror was mirrored along that axis that I I drew in myself and that's not the line that I used to draw it within the draw axis or draw axis tool it does not have to exist and it doesn't exist. So in reality that that wall was mirrored without any other kind of line. It's just with baked into the tool. So I'll delete that wall and we can try something else out. So I've got another wall here and I'll zoom in on it and maybe we want to draw the axis and use this center point as a starting point there. And so now, depending on where I draw this line, of course, is where I will get that wall reflected, that wall mirrored. So if I, if I just go parallel to the wall, the result will be that the wall is mirrored across this center wall. Now, if I delete that and I go back to draw axis and I choose the center and I go perpendicularly, then I'm gonna get this weird overlap because what happened was the wall essentially was mirrored over the top of itself because that that the line with, that I drew to use as a line to mirror over was basically, it, it, falled, it was falling within the, the wall itself so now the result is that the wall was reflected upon itself. That's not something you normally want to do, but I hope that makes a little more sense now. Something else that the mirror tool, both mirror tools can use is 
uh, by default up here at the top copy is checked so basically to say that the result of using this tool will, will result in a copy now maybe you don't want to copy maybe you want to treat this more like a, a specific movement so you could uncheck the copy and if I decide to mirror this wall over this wall there instead of getting a copy I'm it's almost like I'm moving it because in a sense I am but I it's almost a more versatile movement because I'm able to mirror that wall on the other side of something else to get a new position for that wall it's still the same wall and everything is just mirrored this works the same with doors I can mirror along there and I get the door mirrored on the other side it's reflected as you can see something else I pretty regularly use to create a mirror or the, another way I might use the tool itself is that if I select a wall and maybe I want to turn a corner I can select the endpoint of that wall and instead of going perpendicularly or parallel to the wall maybe I want to do it at 45 degrees and so I can get that new angle there and have those walls automatically joined together another way let's say you want to turn that 90 degrees instead you can come to that endpoint make sure you see 135 or 45 degrees and then you get that nice clean join there now just like the the copy tool or any any other kind of tool you can and, and this is primarily why I use the draw axis over the draw or over the pick axis is I usually want to define it myself so again I'm gonna use this wall and I'm, I can draw a different axis but I can I can draw anywhere I can use anything as a reference point so maybe the angle between the endpoint of this wall and the endpoint of that wall, I want to be my mirror for the wall I've selected. And you can see that if I were to draw a line through those two points that I drew, that would that would be the center point of this reflection there. It's just another example. A lot of times what I do is just use this draw axis. I I very rarely use the pick axis because I typically want to define it myself. And that, and that has to do with, I may not have some kind of wall that is existing or anything like that that I can use something to just pick right off the bat. So nine times out of 10, or basically 99 times out of 100, I'm gonna just draw my own axis. And most of the time that's really helpful to me. And I can get any kind of weird result. I can get nice copies if I need to, to just turn this wall 90 degrees and you could use the rotate tool. But you could also use the, the mirror tool. You could not copy it. You could go to the center and draw 45 degrees and I've just turned the entire wall. Just a few different things that you can do with the mirror tool. I sure hope you learned something. If you did, if you would please leave a comment, like the video and subscribe, that really helps me out. Also leave in the comments uh, any type of videos that you'd like to see, if it's a specific tool video or uh, something specific in Revit or maybe it has something to do with Dynamo, I'd be more than willing to answer, not only answer your question, but create a video for it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.